both men and, and yeah, extremely long lifespans. So very translucent skin, and five eight to six two, anywhere in that range. Not extensive at all. I wish it were. What is your theory about why the government doesn't That's another thing. This is really mysterious to me. Government's really got a lid. They didn't do anything to not to knock down stories about these uh, Nordic friendly aliens. Why? I don't know. I wish I did. When you find out, let me know. It is a little peculiar in relation to what Michael Lindemann has told us here at the conference recently, and as uh, mentioned earlier about the spin factor about how it appears that the information is being metered to us to represent a sort of a positive feeling toward a certain type of encounter without any insinuation of uh, female fire heart women being related or denigrating. So it's be strange that they don't want us to know about quote positive unquote. I don't know. What's our time? That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I know more of you would want to contact me for more information about my activities or my monthly meetings in Lancaster. And you can contact me at And for further information about my research, you can obtain the book that I have written called Cosmic Top Secret, published by Inner Light Publications, from one of your local New Age bookstores. Or you could write the publisher, Inner Light Publications. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm John Lear. I'm a captain for a major cargo carrier. Please join me with Linda Moulton Howe on One on One. My name is Bill Hamilton. I am a UFO researcher and investigator. I investigate UFO sightings, abduction cases, crash retrieval events, and underground activity. You can see me on tape with Linda Moulton Howe on One on One. Hello, my name is Sherry Stark. I'm the co-publisher of UFO Magazine, the first journalistic forum for theories and reports about UFOs. When Vicki Cooper and I started the magazine in 1986, there was very little, if any, serious reporting on the subject. Basically, it was your tabloid coverage or occasionally a cursory or a comic relief mentioned in the mainstream press. Since that time, there has been growing public interest in the subject, starting with a couple of best-selling books and there have been documentaries, and there have been talk show guests, and a lot of interest and a lot of uh, types of information out there about the subject. But in some senses, it's even more confusing because there are so many different kinds of information that are subjective that the general public often is turned off to the subject as a whole. And what we're trying to do with the magazine is present the best information scientifically that is being shown, the best research, and presented in a way that the general public can access it and have a source that they can trust, that we don't have any vested interest or 
particular theories that we're pushing in the field. We also have like a guide to the best books that are out, the best research that's been released recently, the best cases. We also have opinion pieces, sometimes with theories from different disciplines that might help to explain from a different angle what might be going on. If you'd like to find out more about the magazine, you can send 545 for a sample issue, or you can subscribe for $21 for the year. And you send it to UFO Magazine, PO Box 1053A, Sunland, California, 91041. And if you'd like to call and get more information, it's 818-951-1250. Thank you. This has been a presentation of Lightworks Audio and Video.